So how would you characterize the, the, the overall confidence of this unit? Very high. Very high. What is today, like what's the focus today? The short practice, you guys know the situation you're in. I mean, are you, are you talking a lot or like what is today like for you guys? Get ready to play tomorrow. I think um, we've been resilient all year. Um, a lot of confidence in, in our team. Um, got a big game on home ice tomorrow. I think, uh, you know, not where we wanted to be, but um, I think our team's <clears throat> a confident group. And um, at home ice, I think uh, it should be a really fun game tomorrow. Not, not to go back, but if you're going to learn from what happened last night, you need to look at what happened, right, and figure out like what went wrong and how you're going to fix it. So what went wrong? What's going to be better? I mean, everything, really. I mean, it's just a terrible game. Um, and, I, and I think in terms of fixing, I think the, the answer for us has always just been from within. I think, um, you know, all year um, we've just tried to emphasize playing our game. And last night we didn't do any of our game. So I think uh, the answer is pretty simple. I think we've done it all year. Um, got to play 60 good minutes. We've got to keep the game simple. We've got to play hard. and. It's the things that we can control. It's not like we're being asked to do anything we can't do. Um, it's being asked to do all the all the intangibles and little things and, and the details. And those are all things that we're capable of doing and we've shown. So, um, you know, tomorrow's, today's a new day and tomorrow's definitely a new day. And uh, it'll be exciting to get out there in front of our fans. And, um, you know, I think when you have a game like that, you just want to play as quick as possible. Um, when your coach uses terminology like you guys were soft all over the ice, what is that? How do you take that as players, and do you agree with that assessment? Yeah, I mean, they, they beat us all over the ice. I mean, it's pretty, it was pretty clear. I mean, I don't think we needed him to say that to, uh, to know that. So, um, you know, we got to have a good game tomorrow. I, I don't want to just, like, uh, keep looking ahead, but there's literally nothing we can control. Obviously, it's not the situation we wanted to be in. But, um, you yeah, know, we could have lost the game one nothing or 7-2, and we were still down 3-1. So, um, you know, we got to have a good effort tomorrow. Uh, I'm certainly really confident in our group. Um, you know, we've been pretty resilient, like I, like I mentioned all year, and um, with this group of guys. And um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I wish, I wish it was today. Honestly, it couldn't come quick enough. And um, like I said, it's going to be a, it's going to be a great night tomorrow for our team, and we're looking forward to it. Brian, there's, there's been a lot of talk about straight line hockey and east-west hockey and stuff. But I mean. To a, to a certain degree, isn't you guys nature to, to kind of freelance and do, do stuff as opposed to just go up and lanes up and down? I mean, I think it's time and place. I think there's obviously, you know, time for that when there's an odd man rush or there's a situation. But I think we just have to do a better job of, um, you know, understanding what the situation is that presents itself. I think a lot of times when you get down in a game or you're playing from behind, you're trying to force things and, you often, and we see the East-West more often. But... I think you can, we've said this all year, I've said this, I think multiple guys have said this, when you break down a lot of our goals, it's a lot of simple things. So, um, yeah, I expect a, a lot of pucks at net tomorrow, a lot of volume shooting and, and a hungry team that's, uh, you know, a little bit more straight lines. But, you know, you could say straight lines east-west, but I think it's it's just individually and as a team, just the battle level and the compete um, got to be much better than last night. And, um, you know, it's not for lack of caring, it's just a, it's just a bad bad performance. and. Um, we'll be ready to go tomorrow. When you say pucks at net, do you think you guys have been too cute and trying to find the perfect pass or perfect play rather than just? Yeah, I don't think I don't think 100% of the time, but I think definitely some some of the time that's been the case. So, um, yeah, I think in in the playoffs, I think you look at what they're doing right now. They they seem like they're getting the puck and they're slinging at the net nonstop. So, um, yeah, we've had success and we've done that. Um, I think we got to um, you know. They've got to put more pucks there. I, th I don't think that's really a surprise to anybody, but um, that'll, that'll be one of the points of emphasis tomorrow. And um, you know, one of the things we definitely got to change from last night, and one of the things that is really in our control, and it's something we're able to do. So, Ryan, so guys, last one. Yeah. I was gonna say, coaches be really consistent about team effort. You know, it's about the whole team needs to be play, play better. But as a leadership group, and guys like you, and you know, Artemi, and all those guys who have been the most productive players for the team all season. I mean, how much onus do you feel like is on you guys right now to play better? I think it's a team game. I think, you know, you can't get anywhere without your top guys, but in the NHL and in the playoffs, you can't get any, anywhere without um, an entire four-line, six-team effort. So um, I think everyone, especially from last game, can be better. There's no doubt about that. But, um, you know, if we're going to win 
if we're going to win tomorrow night and uh, and we're going to you know shift the momentum here, it's going to take every guy in our lineup, and um, I think we all know that. And um, it definitely starts with uh, starts with the guys up top for sure, no doubt, hundred percent. Couldn't agree more. But um, you know, it's a it's a four line game. It's a six six D game, and we're going to need everyone tomorrow.